Yeah, I get beat like King Kong. I got brown and pink toes. They don't wanna leave me alone. Get my t-shirt by V long. I'm to the G code. I see you through the peephole. Do this shit for my people. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Ashantia, aka Sean Doe, and I'm back at y'all with another video. Today's video is the first DIY on my channel, so I'm super excited and it's one that i really really been wanting to do for so long and i finally did it so today i'm going to be remaking the mason flower box um it is behind me the finished product as you can see it came out really nice so stay tuned to see how i achieve my mason flower box this is part one Please excuse all the noise because I have to do this part outside. Um, I am, first I'm going to spray paint the roses chrome. I have some chrome spray paint, hope you can see it. I got this from, I will tell y'all where I got everything from. <laughs> These came from the Dollar Tree. So I have my mouth. What up, B? And <laughs> I'm gonna, First step, I'm going to cut these off of here. Like, I don't know, I probably can just pull them off, but I need all of them to be separate, you know? And it's kind of, yeah, it ain't coming off. So I'm just cut it off. Perfect. So the camera acting dumb. But I did realize that I needed some gloves because this is what I did. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. And I have big hands. These are an extra large. And they still too small. Yeah, I need to put another coat, but bruh. That is beautiful. What do you know? I had some time.
first things first, showing y'all all the materials that I have. So for the DIY flower box today, I'm going to, so I printed these out at Office Depot, Office Max, whatever you want to call it. And this is going to go on the front of the box and on the top of the box. I'm pretty sure um, y'all have seen that before. I'm going to put this as decoration inside of a frame. That's another decoration. And then we have some scissors. Gonna need those. Um, we also have these little things. That's what these are. I had needed more, so I had to go buy some more. Basically, I needed eight of these. Um, I don't really like these with the flowers anymore, <laughs> so I might change it. But um, we also have some ribbon. I'm going to tie that around the box when it's completed. And then we have the most beautiful thing of them all. Chrome roses. Look at this. So beautiful. Okay. Oh, and then one last thing. E6000. This is going to really help just for putting the um paper onto the box because this is cardstock not regular paper i already have some of the little marble things in there because i just wanted to see if it would be enough which it wasn't so i had to buy four more of these but um what to do Okay, so apparently, uh -huh. <laughs> some of them too short. Okay. Um, okay, so it's cool if they if they too long. That's cool. We can always cut them down. But if they're too short, can we do nothing with that board?
four um four big roses by four big roses and then in the middle i have the, the little small ones that i said were beautiful those um i have four of those on the second row four of those on the third row so basically that row those two rows have um six instead of four six rows is total instead of four now next step i'm going to